Okay, today we'll be looking at the Fram Racing Oil Filter, number HP19. And I got this on Amazon for $12.96 plus shipping. But you may be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a really good silicone, a nice pipe. You got your hammer here. Filtration. Okay, let's take a look at it and let's start with the box. Got a nice picture here of the oil filter. They got a screen over the bypass valve. It says low restriction racing media designed for high oil flow. We go on over here and we see for racing purposes only, not for highway use. Look down here, recommended change interval for your oil and oil filters, 3,000 miles, 5,000 kilometers. Now let's take a look at it and see what we got. Day code 16348AF. Product of USA. This is a sticker. She has six inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone anti drain back valve. Metal core with louvers. And it's a bypass valve down below. Nitro rubber gasket, which is on here pretty good. Pretty thick also. It's a good size filter. I say we cut this baby open. See what she looks like inside. Okay, here she is cut open. Let's get her weight. 364 grams in a base plate. 153 grams. Let's take a look at the base plate. It's got a nice amount of threads here. A lot of grooves. Gasket, it sticks up quite a bit. Should make a good seal. Yeah, this base plate's fine. Any drain back valve. Silicone. And this fits on the base plate nicely. Look at this. Nice and snug. There's no movement here. Covers the holes up nicely. Yeah, that don't look like it would leak at all. Filter element. Let's get our weight. 96 grams. I counted 63 pleats. This looks like an inside seam. Metal end caps. It's pretty clean. Pleats are spaced uh, nicely. Pretty evenly. Just right here a little bit, but that's that's usually the case with the seam. It's right on the seam, so. This filter media is a high flow synthetic blend media. And it's rated at 94% at 20 microns. So that's not too bad. Feels pretty good. You know, it feels like a pretty strong filter media. Yeah, not a bad looking filter actually. I like kind of like this filter. Not bad. Bypass valve. Oh, they got a screen like this. If you got particles bigger than this in your engine, you got you got some problems. <laughs> Pretty large bypass valve. And this has a setting of 16 to 28 PSI. Let's see how much this weighs. 16 grams. And the can. The can is thicker than most. You can tell by feeling this is thicker. Let's get a weight. 95 grams. I'll get our measurement. Point five five millimeters. It's a little more than average because they're usually about point four to point five. And this. Two point seven one inches. 
Yeah, not bad. This fits actually in here pretty good. Look at this. There's no really side to side movement. It's nice. Well, I say we cut this baby open, stretch her out, and see how long she is. Okay, so here she is stretched out. And she's 56 inches long. She is zoomed out. Okay, here she is at the seam. And I took a little sample here to get a measurement. 0.83 millimeters. 0.8 is about, about average. Let's see up close. And you can see the inside seam here. Inside glued seam, which is glued pretty good. So I was pulling on this, it was staying together pretty good. All right, let's look at the rest of the filter. Got your metal core with louvers, metal end caps, it's nice. Bypass valve is nice. Screen, something different. <laughs> uh, Silicone ink drain back valve, these are always nice, and it fits on here really nice, too. Yeah, it fits on there real good. And you got a nice can. It's pretty thick. So, yeah, not a bad filter. Filter media is pretty good. I mean, it's got a good micron rating. And I want to give Fram's website a thumbs up, because I, all the information I got on this filter was on their website. And they're not so stingy like some of the other uh, manufacturers out there where you can't find any information on their filters. You can pretty much find all the information you want on, on Fram's website on their filters. So they deserve some credit there. Makes it easier for you guys to look it up and it makes it easier for me too to find all the specs for these filters. Well, I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, Please hit that like button. I also want to wish everyone happy holidays, a happy new year, and I hope 2022 is a good year for everyone. Thanks for watching and take care. And the filter media weighs 21 grams. <laughs>